we have some new residents in our demi plane and they have some big assets and those big assets are going to create more assets in the form of homes i think now besides from the gorgons and they got me engorged what else is happening uh isn't like the weather in our demi plane getting like changed because of the portal? I don't know. I was too busy focusing the Gorgons. Let's begin today's reaction. He's changing the weather, right? The mist gate opening at different locations. Did the location actually matter of where he opened the mist gate or is it the frequency? I think they mentioned, Tomoe mentioned last episode, uh, it was like the location of the mist gate being opened that affects the this. I'm not sure what we're setting up in the demi plane, but basically trying to simulate the four seasons here. Oh, she gonna do something crazy then. Bye bye, Mio. We did leave them for like a couple episodes and just came back. Look at them, they're so sad. Yo, even the Gorgons and the Wing people are sad. The notorious beautiful sisters. Rembrandt sisters, right? Yo, the Forest Ogres are making money. Here's a banana. That's so fucked up, dude. That's even more fucked up. I don't know how many of you guys in the workplace, but basically the popular meme in the corporate workspace is like the company does well. They get a lot of money. They're making record breaking profits. And instead of rewarding the employees with higher pay, what they do is offer free pizza. Yeah, pizza and lunch. And they're like, wow, pat on the back pizza. <laughs> it's bananas here. It's bananas here. <laughs> Banana. Yero, yero, happy. They're actually addicted to it? This is even more dark and fucked up. Makoto is literally making these four stokers addicted to their banana drugs and making them have withdrawal, dude. This is fucked. <laughs> this guy is a super <laughs> sus guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a sus guy. <laughs> he's not sus, actually. He's fucking in it. He, he's the one distributing like that steroid thing with the other girl. That That's why that blonde guy has it, right? This guy is evil, right? <laughs> School festival's coming up, okay. Bro is always hustling, always plugging his products. What are these, love letters? Probably for Chiki, right? <laughs> See, it's the heart letters for Chiki. Karen Force? Rembrandt. Rembrandt sisters. Yeah! Okay, three new students. Shifu, and this is the craziest thing because like when we saved them they were so deformed that we didn't even know what they looked like right in season one we never got to see their actual face right because they were all like turned like mutant zombies and we're doing like fucking judo flips on them but goddamn okay there's Shifu okay the other one is next one or you know. Yeah, look, this is what they looked like before. Like, you would never, you know, guess, like, what they look like now. Because, you know. Bald! Bald! Oh, who's this? Karen. Karen. Have we seen it before? Have we seen this character? No, 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 no. I'm getting her mixed up with, um... There was another girl from Instant Death Magic. It's, it's a girl that I hated. But this girl's, like, look, if you look... Have we seen her? Have we really? I don't know, but... I don't like her look. Have we, where have we seen her? Have... Is, did, she, did, did she... Did she give the steroids to the other guy? I can't... The drug girl, right? She's the one that was in with Bright in one of the scenes in the earlier episodes, right? I, I don't know. Because, like, if you just look at her face, it looks suspicious, you know? It's her eyes and the way she's smiling. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? The sisters are being fake? Hold up? They have a bad rep? Why? Oh! They're like the classic like trust fund kids. Like we're so rich and popular and pretty. Fuck you peasants. But doesn't that seem like they've... They're completely different now, right? I, I'm sure they've had like a character development, like yeah, exactly, right? This is like before the curse and now after. They seem to have reformed, right? Yeah, look at them. <laughs> Banana. Damn, Komoe just got robbed. Yo, this is where Komoe seems supposed to have. Yo, Komoe usually never has scenes, so they they put her in like little random intermissions, but Banana got it in. <laughs> Banana. What are you gonna summon? Hold up. Has he ever summoned before? The fuck? 
Is he just gonna open a demi plane and bring one of our boys over? Alright. Yeah, okay. Does this count as a summon? Is, is this summoning magic? I feel like opening a fucking demi plane portal and bringing one of your lizard men over is not the same as summoning a fucking. You know, it's not the same thing as summoning magic, you know? That's not summoning! Although, I'd, I'd argue that this is even more impressive than summoning, right? Because you fucking, like... You, you ripped the fabric in a dimension space, right? And you brought someone... That's even more impressive, but this ain't summoning. Liddy? The strongest lizardman we have? I think it is Liddy. Alright, it's Mr. Blue Lizard today. Okay, 20% strength only. Terrible way to teach. Okay. Hello, banana again. Oh. Are we doing the same thing like before? Let's see how good the Rembrandt sisters are. Liddy is bodying them. Alright, let's see it. Arrow attack! Whack! You dare talk about the fucking goddess in front of me? <laughs> Disgusting, but I know that she's a human and they need the fucking that's the only magic she has, but just hate fucking seeing the goddess, dude. Damn! You need to reinforce it more. Nope. That's right. Enhancement magic. Ooh, dim ray. Wait. Cotton's actually getting some, you know, good points. See, he said that he burned that shit. He said he would if you're not trying hard enough. Wait. She uses bow. We use his bow. I feel like we could definitely coach her, like, to be a monster. This will be an unforgettable loss. <laughs> He's about to destroy them. <laughs> I think he actually derives pleasure from torturing his students. <laughs> Alright, Liddy at 20% strength. Let's see it. Oh? Hey, our team looks pretty good. I mean, obviously it's not enough, but hey, that w there was something there, right? I don't expect them to beat Liddy, but there was something there. Karen also said she uses water. That's true. Our main element is water. And yes, the other girl uses an arrow too, but it's like, you know, wouldn't it be cool if you'd like taught... Then we don't want to teach Karen though. She's a bitch, right? She's mean or she's evil. Actually, I don't know. She just seems sus. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why, why Karen only? He was the strongest lizard of all our lizard men. Don't worry about it, guys. I mean, we can't do that too. We can just, you know, summon Tomoe. <laughs> Open this gate and don't. Could you imagine if we brought Tomoe here to fucking teach these kids at 20% strength? <laughs> Alright, we've traumatized the Rembrandt sisters. Alright, bad cop, and now it's good cop time, right? Makoto comes here, beats them up, then Shiki builds them up. I think he is enjoying this. Straight up. When I look at Makoto, like, he has this, like, evil look in his eye. I think he's truly enjoying, you know, making these kids suffer. It's not really suffering. They're training. It's training and suffering at the same time. Excuse me? Are, I know that she was down bad. The only reason she stuck around was because of Shiki. But, like, she's like, oh, are, are you an M? You know, I, I can slap you around too, you know? <laughs> No? <laughs> this girl, man. Since he's expected anything from me. Okay. That makes your heart go doki doki? The fact that Shiki just looks for fucking validation from Makoto? I, no, I think it's just like the soft spoken way that Shiki handles himself. Alright. Rembrandt sisters are still down. I'm most interested in Karen though. What's happening with Karen right now? I can't believe that guy is still scared of her. I mean, I understand the reputation is bad before. Yeah. They're totally reformed. CGI. Too strong to be a student. She's smurfing? She's smurfing? Oh, what? We did? She's a fake Karen Force? 
bitch trying to seduce us right now? What's going on right now? What is this girl up to? Mm. <laughs> There's nothing there! There's nothing- You got fucking A-cup! You trying to fucking seduce him with their lack of titties? Be gone, thoughts! Demons? She a demon? She a demon? Okay, maybe I was underestimating her assets. Because this suddenly, like, 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 let me turn the subtitles off. Like, now, suddenly it just looks more stacked here, right? I don't know. I, I think it's the clothing that was making me underestimate her. I, 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 I underestimated her game. I, I definitely did. Okay, she's a demon. Doesn't she kind of look like that one demon girl in the earlier episodes? Right? Is this the same girl? Because they have the same skin color, assuming that this blue hue is supposed to be her natural skin color. I don't know, remember? There was a baldy, and there was the other girl, remember? <laughs> this part's demonic. <laughs> Charms don't work on me, you fucking hornless demon thought! She's here to do what, though? Demon's here to get intel? Show me the horns then! Okay, real cotton force is actually dead. By her allies. See, this is the reason why I say Makoto is not this sweet little boy, dude. He, he's just like, oh, serves her right. Fuck Karin. Like, what? He's kind of like smirking and just like kind of like satisfied. Well, he's definitely not upset at, at hearing that Cotton Force got fucking betrayed by her allies and died. Like what? You <laughs> might like, fuck that bitch. <sighs> Alright, we never have to fuck it. We can just talk a different language. Yeah, we can speak it. Thank you, goddess, for giving us this blessing. Yo, she thinks that she's above us. This girl actually thinks that she's above us. And now, am I underestimating her? I don't think so. I don't think so. She is like a demon commander, right? Is she stronger than Lancer and Sophia Bulga together? I don't know. I feel like Makoto is much better than her. Maybe I'm misunderstanding though. She's really cocky. Did you just say its name is Rona? Okay, yeah, yeah, Rona! She was there with Baldi. That's right, we're a, we're a humble merchant, guys. Nothing else. Why is a merchant talking like he's a fucking war general, dude? I know that you're just a simple merchant, but it's like we have the advantage of both numbers and information. Like, goddamn, I thought you were just a simple merchant. I... Honestly, I think that the demons aren't terrible people. I think that the humans are trash. I think that the goddess is trash. Maybe the demons are also trash, but I'm not really sure. I, I, I always thought this anime was supposed to go in the direction of we're gonna basically like be the savior of like demi-humans and build a sanctuary around that where everyone will be accepted just like a Rimuru in Slime, right? But fuck the humans and the goddess, right? So are the, are the demons then kind of like on this like second tier of evil compared to like humans top and then demons or are the demons kind of just like misunderstood people? I'm not really sure. We hardly know much about demons yet. Is this the hot pot place? Is that a cream hot pot? <laughs> what does Rona like eating? It, do it, it, like, it doesn't seem like she's gonna be a main antagonist right now, right? Now, right? If anything, she could become like an ally, man. We don't belong to any nation, that's right. We're our own state. Sovereign state of demi-humans. Why is that so shocking to you? I, I guess it's like incredibly like um like like crazy, like a shocking revelation that Makoto thinks that he can have his own faction because this world is just humans or demons and all the demi, you know, humans are just trash, right? Is is that why Ron is so surprised? Demons should also be a little neutral then, right? Yeah, you scared? Yeah, she tried to do that. She tried to charm us. Yo, if Mio or Toei knew that she tried to charm us, oh, it would be over. You are a fucking sociopath, dude. Of all the people around this table, Shiki is the most, like, monstrous of them all. You're still fucking eating this, like, sour cream fucking hot pot. What is wrong with you? Ugh. Oh. Merchant of Death. That's a cool title, huh? Merchant of Death? 
ならまずは私とあなた。お互いを知ることが大事。How are we gonna get to know each other? Yeah, Tomoe or Mia will come out. No, both of them will come after you. <laughs> basically, here's how I. Yeah, the base. Our arms dealer, you're correct. So, this is how I see Makoto here. He's a merchant, and he's basically the United States, right? And he's basically just selling weapons to all, everyone, and anybody. And, like, just like, like the humans and the demons were selling our guns to basically the humans and the demons. And they can both fight each other, whatever. We profit from both, right? I feel like that's what Makoto just does. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna just make bag while you guys fight amongst each other. <laughs> Intimately. I do want to see the bottomless power, man. To get intel on. Ew. Yo, take the bones out. I'm here to investigate and put a stop to the humanoid experiment. See? It just sounds like um, she's on the good side right now, right? Like, we can. Like, it, it isn't as simple as good or bad, right? It's a very nuanced. But I feel like Rona is gonna be neutral or an ally. The humanoid experiment probably has to do with these steroids, right? That blonde, you know, the, the prince or whatever that elite kid was on. So if Rona's here to stop that, then yo, that's fucking hype. Thank you for the bit, Shiroi. By Bright, right? No, 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 she didn't give this. No, 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 she, she didn't give the steroids. Did she? I can't remember, honestly. I, I don't remember. But if she was in that scene where she was doing the steroid dealings, then uh, she did then maybe she's like doing like a uh, undercover like double agent you know like she's already in it she already got contact with the supplier and she's here to take it down that's kind of what i'm assuming lime 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 what's up lime <laughs> lime latte sounds gross it, it does sound gross actually <laughs> what is wrong with you why is this girl so fucking quirky, dude? Is her name Aqua or Eris? I forget, but you know, the little banana girl. What is wrong with her? Oh, we have Lime today? Okay. Lime is like our personal spy now? There is an assassin skill. The ninja is right! That attacked us! This guy. I felt bad for that guy. I wanna see Lime fight. Banana. Yes. We'll give you more banana. How the fuck do you accept banana as payment? Like, use your brain and demand fucking gold, some money. And then with that money, you could buy more banana. But they're addicted to it, man. Oh, we should doubt Rona? I mean, it makes sense. She owes him a debt? Not as strong as Mio. A uh, exceptionally sly meal. I'd be down. Yo, you know what? I did love Rona's design immediately in episode like, you know, two or three when we first saw her. But okay. Exceptionally sly meal. A scheming meal. That's a little bit weaker. Has a debt to the demon king. Pathologically loyal. Can we make her be loyal to us? Can we buy that debt? You know what I mean? She already is pretty conniving. Them Rembrandt sisters. Cheeky goaded. Wait, this is like a dorm just for noble girls? So like, in this school, this campus housing, this is a dorm? And like, all just like royals live here? Damn, I mean... That's what happens when you got money, I guess. Imagine it's only these two living here and no one else. <laughs> wait, we're unable to visit you when you were ill? So, do they not know that we saved them? Why did he phrase it like that? I'm sorry for not visiting you when you were ill. When they were ill, they were cursed. We helped their curse. We fixed it. So, do they know that, like, we saved them? Or nah? I'm not really sure. The wording from Makoto was kind of odd there. They do know? So I guess the ill could count as like, we saved them and they're recovering. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Yeah, he's a little bit nicer here. He's not, he's not in teacher mode right now. Rich kid privilege. Yeah? All we did was fucking like judo flip you and shit. <laughs> that episode was so funny when we were fucking these sisters up and they were like bald zombies. And we saved our lives. Yes, she is the tomboy athletic melee type, right? 
on ni shibarari yo na ikikata wa imi ga arimasen. He should manipulate them more, use them as tools like Ayana Koji. Makes them more indebted. Get more favors from Rembrandt. Bald! Bald! Just fucking toss them on the fucking ground. Oh? Ooh. Oh, they don't take too kindly to their dad. He was punished. With the careless Morris. Morris is the butler. Oh. Oh, the, the Rembrandt has nothing on his daughters, huh? So the daughters basically just like run him. He's just like a mega simp for his daughters. He has like no control over them. What about the wife? What, what about the wife? Did they talk about the wife yet? Yeah, the butler and the dad are just nothing. <laughs> mm, sunset lighting. Something important gonna happen? Why? Well, they didn't care about the appearance because they knew that they looked so ugly when Makoto saved them, right? That was the explanation, right? Yeah, they can empathize. Wait! I know how to solve this whole prejudice in this world? This human attractiveness fucking elitism? People can only relate if they understand your position. The reason why the Rembrandt sisters are being normal, exactly yes, Red, why you're getting there. there. Let me cook. The reason why the Rembrandt sisters are being so nice and polite is because they too were ugly and they can empathize. So let's just make everyone fucking ugly. Let's curse the entire fucking world, make them all bald and disfigured, and then we cure them. And then they'll feel good about it. I don't and then they'll they won't make fun of people that are like less, you know, attracted than them, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> You know, that's a good plan to me. Yeah, being cursed was great. We should curse everybody. Suspicious cart coming. Sounds like they're gonna have a bad future then. Oh, wait. Drug dealing? The human trafficking? Here it is, here it is. Lime? Lime latte. Bright. Looks pretty abandoned. It looks like a fucking crack house. Oh, the ending's playing. Lime versus Bright to next episode? Now, who's that? No, that's a different character! No, that's a different character, and I believe that is the ending. And, okay, a little bit of spoilers if you have seen opening two. This guy is the person you see at the ending of the opening where Makoto kind of falls into this honey. Don't spoil me, but you know, there's a scene where Makoto is like falling into the darkness and you see this guy and there's like honey all over him. I don't know what the fuck is going on there, but it looks like that character. This episode was another setup, right? Obviously, it's we need to build it up. So what is happening? Um, We still have like the four seasons and the temperature and the weather changing on Demiplane that's affected by the, you know, the mist portals that Tomo is going to do. We are basically not paying the forest ogres any salary. We're paying them in banana because they're so addicted to these drugs. Bright is still suspicious. We got two new characters, the Rembrandt sisters. That's kind of actually, you know, old characters. But also, we have Karen, who is all a demon, like basically Rona, right? Someone was saying that this is actually not Lid, Liddy. You know how Liddy is the strongest lizardman? Someone said that this is like a guy named Blue. I'm not really sure if that's true, but I don't know. I thought this is Liddy. Maybe it wasn't. What else happened? Uh, Rona's here. And Rona is like... We shouldn't trust her. Shiki literally said, doubt everything about her. But from the way that she's talking, it sounds like we have some kind of common ground where we can work together, at least be neutral, that she's trying to take down the humanoid experiments and that probably aligns with our goals, right? At the end of the day, can we really ally with demons? I'm not sure. We don't really know much about the demons here because we've been so much, we focused on humans and how evil they are. Maybe the demons are just like, just as evil and the demi-humans are the ones that's caught up in the, in the between, you know, these two shitty factions and throwing shit at each other. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can trust Rona this arc, but gotta be careful around her. She's great. And basically the Rembrandt sister, little fucking little quirks about how they run over to the dad. And at the end, Lime finally infiltrated the humanoid experiments. And there's this silver haired dude. Don't know who he is, but we saw him in the opening, and he looks pretty damn important, and we'll find out next episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.